Good day Abadjans, this is Malakay A. Balingbing and I am here to discuss and also verify if the given limits does exist. Alright, let's dive into this limit problem. We were tasked with the finding of the limit as x approaches to negative 1 for the function 5 over x squared times 8 over x plus 1 cubed. Now, we can't just substitute negative 1 into the function because we'd end up dividing by 0 which is a big no-no in mathematics. It's just like trying to split a pizza among zero friends. It just doesn't work or doesn't make sense. But don't be sad. We have a handy tool in basic calculus which Mr. Rogan taught us. It's the product rule for limits. This rule allows us to split the limit of a product into the product of the limits provided each limit exists. So we'll apply this rule to our own problem. We'll find the limit of 5 over x squared and 8 over x plus 1 cubed separately as x approaches to negative 1. Now, let's tackle the first term. The limit of 5 over x squared as x approaches to negative 1 is just simply 5 over negative 1 squared which is 5 over, 5 over 1 or just 5. Now for the second term, as x approaches to negative 1, the denominator x plus 1 cubed becomes 0. And since the numerator 8 does not depend on x and is not 0, the limit of 8 over x plus 1 cubed is undefined due to, the, due to division by 0. So what does this mean to our original function? Since the limit of one of the terms is undefined, the limit of the entire product is also undefined. Now, let's clarify our answer. The limit of the function 5 over x squared times 8 over x plus 1 cubed as x approaches to negative 1 is undefined. This is because the denominator x plus 1 cubed becomes 0 when x is equal to negative 1 causing the expression to be undefined at that point. Limits involving division by zero are typically either undefined or approach infinity, depending on the context and the behavior of the numerator. In this case, since the numerator does not approach zero as approaches to negative one, the limit is undefined. Good day everyone, this is Cristale Asa Acedera and I am here to verify if the limit on number k exists. So on number k, the limit of k of x and h of x as x approaches to negative 1. So the given r g of x is equal to 8 over x plus 1 cubed and h of x is equal to negative 8 over x squared plus 2x plus 1 cube. So first is we have to substitute the x with negative 1 and g of x to find the g of negative 1. So g of negative 1 is equals to 8 over negative 1 plus 1 cube is equals to 8 over 0, which results in an undefined value. So just like what we did on g of x, we also need to substitute the x with negative 1 in h of x to find the h of negative 1. So h of negative 1 is equals to negative 8 over the quantity of negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1 cubed is equals to negative 8 over 0 which also results in an undefined value g of x and h of x both results in undefined value because both of their denominator equate to 0. Therefore, the limit of g of x and h of x as x approaches to negative 1 does not exist. Good day everyone! So for today's lessons, we will create a functions by performing a one fundamental operation.
So let's begin. Suppose f of x is a function formed by performing exactly one of the four fundamental operations using the functions g of x is equal to 3 over x plus 3 cubed and h x is equal to x, x squared plus 6x plus 9 over 10 determine f of x if so the test that given to me is the limit of x that approaches the negative 3 f of x is equal to 0 so the first step is we need to analyze the two given functions which is the g of x and h of x so let's analyze the g of x so g of x is equal to 3 over x plus 3 squared we will change the value of x into the negative 3. So g of x is equal to 3 over negative 3 plus 3 squared. So after we substitute the negative 3 plus 3 squared, we will get the g of x is equal to 3 over 0 squared. So the g of negative 3 is equal to undefined. So let's move on to analyzing the h of x. So the h of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared over 10. We recognize that x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared is a perfect squared. It can be factored as x plus 3 squared. So we have h of x is equal to x plus 3 to the fourth power over 10. So it will be h of x is equal to 0 over 10. So we get h of x is equal to 0. So after that, let's move on to the second step, which is the substitution of the g of x and h of x expression for f of x. So f of x is equal to 3 over x plus 3 cubed times x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared over 10. So the same to the first step. We need to factor the x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared. So we will get that value. Then, so we will get the f of x is equal to 3 over 10 times x plus 3. So we will change the value of x into the negative 3. So the answer will be 0. So f of negative 3 is equal to 0. So this means that the given value is exists. I hope you learned something. Thank you for listening. Goodbye! Hello everyone! My name is Saisha Pink P. Torres from Group 5 and I'm here to show you how to solve the number 5 on our task. Letter B. Suppose f of x is a function formed by performing exactly one of the four fundamental operations using the function of g of x is equals to 3 over x plus 3 cubed and h of x is equals to x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared over 10. Determine f of x if does not exist. Number 5. The limit of a function f of x as approaches negative 3 does not exist. Yung formula na gagamitin natin here is f of x is equals to g of x over h of x. So, ang kakalabasan niya po is f of x is equals to 3 over x plus 3 cube over x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared over 10. First, papalitan po muna natin ng negative 3 yung mga x. So, magiging f of x is equals to 3 over negative 3 plus 3 cube over negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 plus 9 squared over 10. Kapag sinubstitute po natin yung 3 over negative 3 plus 3 cube is magiging undefined po siya. So, magpo-proceed na po tayo sa negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 plus 9 squared over 10. Negative 3 times negative 3 is equals to 9. And then 6 times negative 3 is equals to negative 18. And 
plus 9 po. Over 10. So, ang magiging answer niya is 0 over 10. So, kapag pinag-divide po ang g of x over h of x is magiging does not exist siya. Kasi nga po, yung isa ay undefined and yung isa naman po is 0. Kaya, ang magiging sagot niya po is does not exist.